Hey, what's up, SaaS Masters? My name's George, and today I'm gonna show you TidyCal. This one lets you integrate to your site or just send out a link so people can schedule a meeting with you. It could be a free meeting or a paid meeting. Now, I will show you what I like and dislike about this deal right now, so let's jump over to the deal and then to the dashboard of TidyCal. So, let's jump over there. All right, this is the deal that I'm talking about, and it's called TidyCal. It's only $19 for a lifetime deal. That means you pay once and you can use it forever, so no monthly payments. Now, there's good stuff and bad stuff, so let's go check it out. What does this plan include for $19? Okay, the good part about it is it includes 10 calendar connections. Why would you want so many calendar connections? I'll just give you an example. Let's just say I'm going to connect my personal calendar and my business or two businesses calendars why because i don't want like schedulings to crash i want them if i schedule something on my phone i want it to remove the date on my calendar or if i schedule something for my business well i'm not going to be available even on my personal calendar because i'm just one person right so those are just ideas why you would want to connect several calendars it, you get free and paid versions like i said so it has integration with paypal only right now and it has reduced branding now that's something i really disliked and not because I hate branding, it's because it's not actually reduced branding, it's it's really visible. And I'll show you where that visible branding is. Now, you might not dislike it, um, you might not even care, but it's there, and I just wanna show you that. Okay, let's jump over to Tidy Cow. Um, one of the main things about Tidy Cow is that it's easy to use, and you can create calendars really fast. Okay, so there's a meetings created here, it's like 15, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, and I created this one for video test. Um, super easy to create let's just go into edit one of these so let's edit this event for the video test you give it a title you give it a link so you can use it gives you this link so no custom domain that means you can't use your own domain um, and you can also embed it but that's where the branding is so I'll show you that in a bit give it a description set the duration for this set the minimum minimum padding meeting padding that means it won't schedule another one if someone schedules for 10 minutes i would raise that but it's up to you next you set the dates right here where you want to actually enable this so let's just say you work monday to friday but you take thursday off plus you take sunday and saturday off right so in this case i've disabled sunday thursday and saturday plus it lets you add time frames why would i do this for example I'm available, available 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., but let's just say I go have lunch after 1 p.m., so you won't be able to schedule. And then it jumps again to 3, whoa, that should be p.m., 3 p.m. to 5 p.m., right? Just to give you an example, and you can add more time frames if you want, just to give like um, some time slots if you want, just in case you have lunch, breakfast, and so on and so forth, right? Whatever you wanna use that for. Set that time. Next, you can add some questions if you like. So for example, these are optional. I just say, have I made a video before? Interested in a new video? And just whatever you want to use, depending on what you use it for, right? And if you want to charge for this event, you add the, the price right there. I'm just going to cancel this one right now and show you how this actually looks. You can either um, send them this link. So I can copy this link. Let's go to incognito mode and it jumps you to this right here. Boom, right? Let's go ahead and schedule. This one's one of the paid ones, right? So I'm asking $5 for this one just for testing purposes. And today's the third, so I can select it. Now you're gonna see there's a little jump frame right here for 315, 345, and then it jumps to 415 and it doesn't go anymore. Why? Because I scheduled on my phone so I can remove that date. So if I schedule on my personal calendar, it's gonna remove that time frame so people can't schedule. So it's really helpful that you have that. So like I said before, time doesn't scratch, crash by scheduling, right? Another way you can send the calendar is by view a booking page. So it has all the time frames right here. So whatever type of schedules you have, you will see them right here. So video test, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, so on and so forth. And you just jump from here to where you want to go to that calendar. All right. It's easy as that. And the next way you can share this is by embedding on the website. Now I have embedded on the site just to show you how that looks. So let's jump over to this sample page I created. So this is just a random page on WordPress and I just embedded the calendar. Now, this is one of the ones I embedded. So I embedded video test and this is where the branding appears. And I think it's too, it's not subtle. It's not light branding. I think it's really heavy branding because first of all, you got made with tidy calendar and plus it has a link. So they get backlinks for this. Next, it has 
the whole footer right here where, where it has a link to AppSumo to send Fox to King Sumo. So it's, it's not just Tidy Cow or just AppSumo. It's like, let's take advantage and put all the links right there. So I hope they fix this. I think that's not subtle or light branding. That's really heavy branding. And then you have all of this, like terms of policy, privacy policy, and then you have AppSumo again over here. So basically that one, two, three, four, um, five, six, seven links added right here by embedding this. So I hope they fix that because I, th I think that's not subtle. And once you embed it here, well, it works the same way, right? You got the schedules, select the time that you want to use and just information, email, and the questions that I've asked right there that I put them to ask and you can book the event. Um, I won't book it because it'll actually go schedule on my phone and then I got to go delete it because this is just for testing purposes. Um, another thing that's missing on Tidy Cow is that you receive an email, but it, that email doesn't have a way to cancel the meeting. So let's just say you changed your mind or something happened, I don't know, one day after the meeting and you would like to cancel this, cancel the meeting. So you open up that frame, plus I get a notification that that's canceled. Now there's a lot of things that are missing right here uh, as of now. So they need to add a lot of things that other booking apps have. Again, let's remember that this is only $19 for a lifetime deal. Now you got the integrations tab right here where you integrate your calendars. In this case, I added two of them and I selected, I selected which one is my primary calendar. Um, you can add 10 of them because that's what the deal is. And you have the option later on when this is coming soon, you can add the Microsoft calendar and the Apple calendar, which are going to be really popular once they add those. So as of now, that's not added. You can add your um, Zoom link right here. So you got Zoom or Google Meet that you can add right there, save the link. The payment gateway for your PayPal and the automations right here. Um, Zapier is coming soon, it's not available yet. And that one is going to be a really popular one because that will let you integrate with other apps and do other type of notifications and you can go all out crazy if they provide that information for you. So it's pretty cool that you have that. Again, you got your profile information here that you want to uh, enable. So for example, I set my slug to be Jorge and then the rest of the, the type of calendar that I set the title to. You can change that it, whenever you want. Again, remember if you send out links and you change that later on, then it won't know it's tied to that link. Basic information, um, booking presentation, right now it says book a call with me. You can edit that and you can set the color also. So if, let's just say your branding and your logos are red. Well, go with red instead of just black. Or if you want to keep it clean, keep it black, right? You'll have your scheduled bookings right here. This is one of the ones I've made. I can cancel the event right here and I can view more information right here. So let's just say I had some questions right here. I can view them in this one right here. So it's pretty easy and straightforward to use Tidy Cow. Um, overall, I like it because it's simple. It's easy to use. And if you just need something to start scheduling with clients, with sending out a link or embedding on your site, then you're good to go with this. If you need really advanced options, this is not the way to go. Um, I hope they further develop this even more so it, it goes, it, it's a better deal. But again, like I said, $19 for this is pretty sweet. Just consider that reduced branding. If you don't like branding on your site, then definitely skip this. If you don't mind it, then you're good to go. Just grab it, set your schedules and connect your calendars and start sharing so you can schedule with clients. So it's fast and easy to go. All right. Well, if you want to support me, please consider buying through my link. It's an affiliate link. It gives me a small commission and it won't cost you a single cent more than what it already costs. So it just helps me out, buy these deals, make videos for you guys and take the time to do these videos, right? Okay. Thank you for watching. My name is George and this is SaaS Master. I'll see you guys later.